How's it going guys and welcome back to the channel. So we are finally able to continue with Malphite's Day. This will be part three. Um, yeah, I'm not going to say much. Let's just get straight into it. So let's get this tripod. A tripod is necessary to take photos with long exposures. I have found what I need to take infrared photos. Mm, it's going dirty. Yeah. Oh, no. No, 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 I don't want to read the diary now. So let's go and find the tarot cards thing. Following the dramatic news from the country, oh, shut up. Archbishop Toccarelli took to protest with the French in the city for the raping being committed by invading troops. The new ordinance for the safety of citizens. And it's from this moment on, it is forbidden for anyone to leave their home. Here are my cards. Nanny and I always used to play with them. She would predict my future, and I pretended to predict hers. The future was always good for everyone. Maybe when she read them, she saw my true future, which she hid from me. Or more likely, these cards are actually just a stupid game to reassure and deceive oneself with. But deceiving oneself is sometimes necessary. How can we live happily otherwise? This is Mummy's jewellery. She wears them every day. Even though Daddy says it's impractical and dangerous to show signs of wealth these days. As usual, she doesn't want to listen to reason and then Okay, so I found that. Um, in the letter, Nanny doesn't say where she left the keys. They had a pinky ring attached to them. They are not on the key rack. Someone has taken them. Ends up arguing with Daddy until he goes to play war, as she says. Okay, so let's try and find the keys to the bedroom. I don't think they'll be in here though. Sorry, I get 
put there. Was. Oh no, it's just a bunch of fire. Ah, top of it will be in the kitchen. Yeah, that door, one of them there. These hunting rifles are not daddy's. He never went hunting. Nanny must have left them here. Stays though, but I mean, go ahead and hurry to take a look. Okay, is that wine or blood? Our wine. Daddy is so proud of it. The fuck's the point of this? of a relationship it's very clear but my plans will be successful I only need to know what these plans are okay let's look around here for a bit what was that there was something there Okay, so I can take a photo of that. So let's do that then. I don't know why. Let's do it. Um, first tool. Tripod, infrared, boom. It's not in focus. I don't know why we need to do this, but hey. Let's go develop it, see if something comes from it. Skip. Let's develop that one. See what happens. Turn the focus. What is this? A it. joke? Maybe someone wrote on the film? Also, what does that even mean? Light, like divine light? Something to do with religion, maybe? Okay, whatever that's supposed to mean. So I saw we can head outside <clears throat> from here. This is the center of our farm, but since we moved here, it hasn't worked like it used to. Security matters, Daddy says. I was afraid of animals when I was little. I never approached them alone. Is that what you want to approach the fucking cow now? Can't do shit. So 
now we're just back at the house. Can't go in there. Seriously, bitch, can't you walk any faster? Jeez. I'm holding down shift like my fucking life depends on it. And this bitch is just cruising along. Find the keys. I need to find the keys. Uh, among mommy's things. Things. To, yeah, that's not a thing to do, the white lady. Go to the lake. Again. Ooh, can I ride it? My bike. The wheel is deflated as usual. A bicycle pump will solve this. Okay, so what? Can I ride the bike? Seems like it. Let's see if I can find the pump. I guess it will be down here somewhere. What's this? Lorenzini haberdashery. That's just five meters of grey cotton fabric, six meters of white linen fabric, four meters of green satin. Delivered on June 5th, 1944. In the event of an issue, contact us on the number 6987. And this red fabric? It's not been mentioned. Could this also be one of Mummy's, or could the nanny have left it here? I just want to know if I can ride the bicycle. I want to find the pump. Hello. It's not that hard to climb upstairs. And I'm not going to walk all the way around again. Fuck, she walks so fucking slow. Jeez. Uh, no, I'm just going to go to the lake. Fuck it. Just walk there. Fuck the bike. I can take a photo of that. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Just for the fun of it. German soldiers. Daddy ordered patrols to be carried out near the house, but how could they have lost a helmet? God only knows. Oh, fuck, what's happening? Oh wait, this was in the demo. If I'm not wrong. Hey, hey, hey! Los Gates! Yeah, no, I doubt the fucking gun sh gunshots will be that soft in that range. I mean, gunshots are fucking loud. What is man. going on here? What are the soldiers doing? It's dangerous, I know, but I want to follow them and see what's happening. Verdammt! Scheiße! So what, you want me to literally walk? I 
don't know where they went. Oh. On go there. Where they... Oh, fuck it. I'm just going to keep on following the path. Ouch. Rendering issues. Oh! Fuck, what was that? Dear friend, what have they done to you? Shirt. That's sad. Your handkerchief was the symbol of what you believed in. At least that is left of you. Yeah, well, you ain't got no fucking legs left. Dear Julia, are you surprised that I've addressed this to you and don't think you're dead? Everyone calls you Martha now, right? I know you too well. I can never understand why no one else can ever tell you apart. Not even your own mother and father. Martha is gone and I cannot reconcile myself. Oh, fuck. Don't hold his blown up hand. What the fuck? Du hast ein Mädchen erschossen, du Idiot. Scheiße, Scheiße, Scheiße. Scheiße. Was machen wir jetzt? Scheiße. Sieh mal, was sie um ihren Hals hat. Sie ist eine von ihnen. Es musste getan werden. Sie ist die Tochter von General Erich K., du verdammter Trottel. Sie war die Freundin von diesem armen Kerl. Oh, verdammt, jetzt sind wir wirklich am Arsch. Scheiße. Lass uns abhauen. Aber, aber sie lebt noch. Sie liegt im Sterben. Siehst du, wo du sie getroffen hast? Sie ist bestimmt schon tot. Wir müssen jetzt abhauen, sonst sind wir auch bald tot. I know that's where the demo ends. It still surprises me what the fuck happens. I'm dying, I thought. But strangely enough, I wasn't afraid. In fact, I was almost relieved. When I returned, I found myself once again in the midst of a bad dream. Oh, One whose meaning again. I did not understand at the time. Hey, stop the beats for yourself. Please, we get it.
end of the movie. Tune the guitar, fuck me. Two sisters were destined to die. Julia, the first sister, and Martha, the second. On Julia's day of departing, identical twins stood before me, impossible to tell apart. They questioned my presence, since they were still so young. Julia must come with me, I demanded, but they both claimed to be Martha. I explained that Martha's fate was soon to be the same, and their games were useless. I didn't have time for it. The war was keeping me busy. But they didn't concede, and instead kept insisting. Can we follow you together? No, impossible. Are you sure Martha will die too? Nothing is certain in wartime. What if the wrong person went with you? Then you would have cheated death. One would die unjustly, and the other would simply be delaying her fate. They discussed amongst themselves, then hugged before one of them came forward. She stared in a determined, almost threatening manner. I guessed it was Martha sacrificing herself, giving more time to her sister. But I stayed silent, not to reveal their failed deception. No one lies to the face of their own death. So I asked how their choice was reached. We do lots by throwing a medallion, she said quietly. They had trusted in fate. Oh, how naive they were. They knew fate plays by its own rules, which is true. But it is also my ally. Fate never would have allowed the wrong girl to follow me. In that case, my work was done. She must have been Julia. However... Little to my knowledge at the time, that blasted medallion had the same name engraved on both sides. Martha's. So, my first assumption was correct. They were too damned smart, and had fooled both fate and me. One thing is for sure. I'll put things back where they belong. I will correct my ignorance and give fate back its blindfold. Okay, whatever there was. Damn, this hurts so bad. I can hardly breathe. Yeah, you were shot. Of course you're gonna fucking struggle to breathe, threat. Find 
let us later find the bag the bag okay now we can put that on well obviously it's a special occasion apparently I would like to spend a moment with my sister, just me and her alone, before people arrive for the funeral and then take her away. No, 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 my bag is not here. My diary. Lapo's letter. Okay, stop complaining and exit. How is she? How is my daughter? Please, doctor. Please give me good news. It's a miracle she's arrived, Eric, but she will be all right. Yeah, I'm walking around. I'm fine. Indeed. The bullet passed right by her heart and exited her chest. Unbelievably, it missed her lungs, spine, and heart. She could have been paralyzed or died. But thankfully, she's fine. I examined her thoroughly. She didn't even lose that much blood. She was lucky. And you were lucky, so to speak. She was lucky that my wife went for a walk in the woods. Otherwise... Otherwise she would have bled to death, yes. I don't know what to say. All of this. It's too much. So much death and suffering. Nothing more. Don't worry, Eri. She's young, so she'll recover quickly. I'll be here all day anyway. Thank you, Doctor. For everything. Do you mind the coming with me to bully. pick my wife up from the cemetery? The funeral will start soon in the chapel. Of course not. Lead the way. You know, with all of these preparations for the funeral, Irina wants everything to be perfect. It's her way of coping so she doesn't have to think about everything going on she is a woman who has suffered so much maybe too much okay just open the door let's get the fuck out violence against citizens continues in la romola and once again general k's family has come under it is the life of her sister, Mark, that is in danger. The blow from the gunshot in her back could have killed her. It is only by the grace of God that the girl is alive. The anti-fascist political motive appears to be the only reason behind the cowardly act. The New Zealand troops... What if the bag is here somewhere? After the battle of Poggi Ponzi, on the 18th, we are still far from the Tavernelli Val di Pisa. The German resistance on the Tuscan hills has been exhausted for the invasion. There's my bag. Thank God. Let's hope Lapo's letter is in there. Yeah, there it is. Dear Julia, are you surprised that I've addressed this to you and don't think you're dead? Everyone calls you Martha now, right? I know you too well. I can never understand why no one else can ever tell you apart. Not even your own mother and father. Martha is gone, and I cannot reconcile myself to that fact. I have to stay hidden, and sadly I can't run to you. Even if I would love nothing more than to hold you tight and cry together. No words. I just want to be close to you. Can we meet in the barn tonight? I will try my best to be there around midnight. Don't be alarmed, but if things get ugly, please remember this number. Six nine three four. He knew he was in serious danger, but what about the letter? 
I had it in my hand when the soldiers ran off. Mummy found me, and if she's read it, well, she hates Lapo, and now she must know who I am. No, no, she probably would have left me there to die. She'd rather have no daughter than the wrong one. Before I passed out, I must have put it back in my bag. There is no other explanation. So can I leave now? Yes. Uh, the MP alarm. Is it a phone number or a combination? I don't know. Let's try the phone. Maybe it's a phone number. Can't use the phone. What else? Say goodbye to your sister. Oh, fuck, I need to stop pressing escape to close the fucking menu. I should pick up the phone but remain silent. If I let the caller speak first, I'll find out who it is. Hello? Ma'am? Can you hear me? Is there somebody there? Mr. Eric? It's the nanny. I can confide in her. Nanny? Hello, it's me. What? Hello? Oh my lord, I must be dreaming or something. No, Nanny, you're not dreaming. It's really me, it's Julia. Oh my god, Julia, my little sparrow, how wonderful. Sorry, but I thought you were dead. I, I saw you lying there dead. This brings me so much joy that, actually, you must explain to me, my little sparrow, what is happening? I told okay. Nanny everything that had happened. She was sad for Martha, of course, but very happy at the same time. I was the one she had a special bond with. I explained to her that I wanted to try and meet the White Lady, even if I knew it was a silly idea. But she didn't think I was a fool. Quite the opposite. She explained to me what I should do in an attempt to meet her. It was complicated. I noted everything down carefully in my diary. Who knows, maybe she did it only to keep me occupied, while deciding what to do with me and who to warn. I won't ever know, though, because that very same day, a bomb struck the villa and she died. They all died. We should have been in that house ourselves, but instead... Poor Nanny. Bye, Nanny. I love you. Goodbye, my darling. I thought I'd lost you. Be careful, my little sparrow. What was that number again? Six nine? Uh six nine three four. Ah, fuck off. Can't see shit. Oh, poor PC, it's gonna suffer now. You've called this number. Damn, Lapo must be dead then. Rest in peace, fair comrade. Yes, Lapo is dead. I am due. No, no, don't talk. We don't need to know who you are. By calling this number, it means Lapo wanted you to complete his work. A telephone cable near the house of German General Erich K has to be cut. One goes to the house, but there's another cable we suspect is connected to a secret base. That is the one that has to be cut. If you see any German vehicles around, let us know immediately. We won't use this number anymore. It's dangerous. Use a telegraph. That will be safer. I hope you know how to use them. Otherwise, you'll have to come up with something. This is important. 
frequency X before the message telegraph town on fire to identify yourself. Long live the homeland. Long live the liberation. Should I sabotage the cable and become a spy? I don't know. My father is German. It would be like betraying him even though he himself hates this war. But what happened to Lapo and those guys? If I can save someone's life. Turn that shit off, thank you. Life? Maybe I should try. Or maybe I can talk to Daddy about it. He may be able to advise me on what to do. Yes, I don't even beach. know the first thing about all this. What were you thinking, Lapo? Ah, fuck it. To cut the cable, you. I will need sharp scissors. Taylor scissors should be fine. Yeah, I already have that. Where is the dead bitch? Guys, that's all we have time for today. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers for now.